what it look like tv we back thanks for joining me i appreciate everybody look first i want to say thank you to everybody new that subscribed i really appreciate the love and i'm gonna try to do the best i can do but today you know we keep it lighthearted over here and we try to have a good time and try to keep it fair and even but today we're going to do something different we're going to review a short that i did i get up in the morning some mornings and I even post a news clip that I saw where I try to post a little motivation for people. Since I've been married for 23 years, I just tried to post a couple tips for young husbands. And I got a lot of love. And I got some hate. You know what I mean? But I decided that I'm going to elaborate a little bit more. Because a lot of the things that I said probably caught a lot of young men off guard. But I'm going to elaborate so we're gonna break down my own video. So let's get started on that. And I'm gonna break it down piece by piece and let you know exactly what I mean to shed a little clarity on it. Let's skip over to it. Let's, let's give it a playthrough. Let's start it off. And I got some advice for you young husbands. Rule number one, once you get married, you gotta stop hanging with all your single friends. The fact that you got married said that you hung that up. So if you hung that up, you got to hang that up. Now, that end part was funny, I must admit myself. If you hung that up, you got to hang that up. But what I mean by that is, if you decided to take the step to become someone's husband, and if you had children in the home, you should have already mentally came to the conclusion in your mind that you done packed it in that you're done so why have one foot in and one foot out if you commit it commit that's just being real and the 23 years worth of knowledge that I have I'm gonna tell you to be a hundred percent honest with you you don't have too much time to be hanging with your friends it's a lot of building a self that needs to be done and that's a solo journey. But I wouldn't imagine that you would be getting married if you didn't already come to this conclusion. So I don't know why that's striking people as uh. And I don't know how long you think you could really party or how long that you just really just want to party it up like that. But that's what I mean by that. I don't mean by you don't have to never see your friends again. I just mean that they have to become second to your family and what you're trying to accomplish there. Because if you want your lady to be any type traditional, like I'm hearing, you know, majority of the complaints, and I can attest, it's not too many traditional women out there right now. But if that's what you want to demand, then you have to bring something traditional to the table also. So that means you shouldn't have to call somebody to put that new ceiling fan in. You should know how to change a flat tire. You should know how to change the light on the car. Put a new battery in. Put some blinds up. If you live in a small apartment and it ain't no closet space, you should be able to build some shelves. You should be able to do some man shit. Before we point the finger at anybody as men, we gotta point it at ourselves. So if that's the type of shit that we want, we gotta be able to do the man shit. And in your 20s, you don't know how to do no electrical if you ain't in no electrical program. You know what I mean? You don't know how to do no masonry work. You got some stuff you need to be learning. And that's what that part means. When you first get married, that's supposed to be a, a time of self-growth. There's some things that you should be wanting to provide for your family. And that's what I meant by the first part. But let's move on to the second part. Two, the crib becomes everything. That's the crib. I mean, that, that's the club. That's the place to hang out. That's the place to chill. That's your everything. That's home base. So you spend majority of your time there. And the catch is, with your lady being there, if you got any daughters, 
you there by yourself because you can't have outside men around your lady and your babies. And rule number three. Now on that one. Notice I didn't say your lady making you do anything. Each one of these rules is conclusions that you should be coming to yourself. Yeah. And if you're working, that's eight hours out of the day. You got to get some rest. And even if you ain't getting rest like that, you know what I mean? Let's give you seven hours of sleep. I leave you about nine hours, man. You got some stuff to do around the crib. And if you have children, your children need to see you more than your friends. And that's what I mean by the crib becomes everything. But maybe in my situation, I've been fortunate because it's always been set up over here where everybody has their own personal space. So don't get it confused when I say the crib becomes everything like you just underneath your lady all day. Everybody need their own personal space to be able to move and operate. And I do think that that was one of, that was one of the major factors around here that kept us together for as long because I always had a man cave. Just to touch on something from point one, that working on yourself and that developing those skills that's how I was able just to build the studio at the, at the, at the at a thought. Decided to do YouTube. And I knew my way around a hammer, a tape measure. I knew how to do electrical. I knew how to do the mason work to, to get the walls in order. So that's just more proof of the putting on that. And then a quote that, you know, from this one, from number two, that, uh, got everybody in their feelings was me saying as a man you sh especially if you have daughters you shouldn't have foreign men in and out your house and it was funny that a lot of men use the same argument that they get mad that women use they went straight to some pedo stuff that your friends must be this and that if you don't want them around your lady and your babies no no Maybe your lady and your babies don't want to see your friends all the time. They live there too. Maybe 9, 10 o'clock, they maybe want to feel comfortable going to the refrigerator to get a bowl of cereal or a snack or whatever they want. And they can't be if they don't know who the hell in the house. It's just fair ball, man. It's just fair ball. You gotta think. All y'all immediately flipped it on y'all like y'all was losing some type of power, losing some type of strength. But all it is is respecting the women that you live with. Respecting your daughters. Is anything wrong with respecting your daughter? I'm a weirdo for that. Well, I'll be a weirdo. But that cleared up that. And let's get to number three that people had this immense problem with. You always got to work hard. You always got to work hard. Whether you make the most money or not, you got to get your ass up every day and you got to do something. Just a couple of tips. Hope it helps them. How am I the bad guy for telling men that regardless, you got to work hard every day? Now, how is that such a bleak outlook on life? Yo, man, if you want anything in life, you're going to have to work hard. And you're going to have to work hard for a lot of years. It's the truth. They sell you these get-rich-quick schemes. No said in one of my previous shorts before and I'll break it down for you real fast it's going to take at least 10 years on your job really for you to get some real traction in life for you have paid that first car off you know for you to get to know everybody at the job 
for you to work your way into the position and the situation that you absolutely want. So the longer you delay that, the longer you delay life really kicking in the gear for you. It's going to take some work, man. You're going to have to pay some dues. You're going to have to struggle through that first car. Maybe struggle through two or three of them. And even if you ain't struggling, you getting a horrible rate on your loan. That place that you living at, you being overcharged at. It's going to take a while for, for you to work life into a real comfortable situation. And you need to get comfortable with that. Whether you single or with your lady. You know what I mean? But I hope I explained it a little bit clearer to people. Hope y'all understand it a little bit better. But don't be scared of the hard work, man. It pays off. It pays off. Even if you in the middle of the hard work right now, and you thinking like, it's not paying off, believe me. If you keep your head down, you keep grinding, it's going to pay off. It's peaks and valleys in life. It's ups and it's downs. But eventually, things things level out for you. And it's not too much that can happen to you. After you done paid them dues and you done figured everything out, everything start becoming easy. But I hope that helps somebody. If you ain't hit that like and subscribe button yet, please hit it. I'm on that way to a thousand. I'm just... A hair shy of 400. We at 395 now, but we growing stronger and stronger every day. This what it looked like TV. If you done made it to this point in the video, you my MVP. And I'll check you out on the next one.